as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. I still have my buff from eating ribs. Mm. Oh, I a monster on it. <laughs> do have a fragmentation line. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. So last time when I ended recording, I decided to dick around a little bit. And <laughs> so I totally forgot you don't actually have to properly fight Kellogg back there. Yeah. Why you say that? Oh, because he's dead. Oh, oh yeah, you threw gr that's right, you threw, threw a couple of them with grenades. Under the door. I don't have to fight nothing. Fucking shit. Yeah, I just cheated that whole dialogue scenario and that whole fight. But that was fucking worth it, because he's fucking dead as fucking dead. Yes, Chat. I'll take help. Oh my god. Cybernetic shit. Fuck it, I'll just take everything from Kellogg. Do it. I wasn't gonna leave him with stuff, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Taking it off. Take it. I am now robbing Kellogg. Because fuck Kellogg and everything he stands for. Oh, I put my weapon away. There we go. I haven't played in a while. I haven't played. Oh. You haven't played in a go long while. Uh, shut up, B. You're like ruining like the like engagement. Like, like, the experience. You're like ruining my experience. Oh, you. Just playing Mario Kart. Shut up. Stop <laughs> <big Mario. laughs> Security door control. Open door. Suck my dick. Okay, that's all I need. This is gonna be two different comment. This is gonna be one commentary and then just uh, random shit. Occasional. <laughs> Occasional. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, isn't that what a lot of people do? They just have occasional fun. You know what? You're not wrong. Right. 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 You're only ever right. What the hell? Why did it not open? Why didn't it open? Who knows? I use a. I use a fucking terminal. Oh, apparently the view of access logs. Oh. That's right. Silly me, I have to go do a thing. Oh, look, and here's the door. There's the way out. Close that. Walk over this guy's dead body. Looking great. That looks fantastic. What's in here? Bobby pin. Buff out. I still request that sometime towards the end you just take a bunch of drugs. <laughs> just get fucked up like as like a final farewell. No, because all I remember is the, <gasps> the <gasps> and then just fucking yeah. Yeah, because you tried to do it with mods, and when you have mods, you have like the the chem resistant perks and stuff. And, well, if you wanted to do that, you know what I mean. Special bonus episode, just 10 seconds long. Just <laughs> I just get fucked up on as many drugs as possible and I try to go fight like I don't want to or something. I mean, to be fair, you're not wrong. The ending I'm not going to pick, but I will abuse you. It give me like one of the best companions for a little while. So, that's 
Yeah, that's weird. I saw a thing that was like, a guy was like, hey. Like, he, he, I think he had bad luck, but he's like, I know there's a lot of death claws spawning in after the, uh, Brotherhood show up. I'm like, yeah, who knows. That could be. For all I know. Oh, over here. There's a dead guy right here with Wonder Glue. And I know what you're asking yourself. Cody, why do you want so much Wonder Glue? To get high as fuck. Next question. Next answer. Hello, Doug. Doge. God, I remember when I played the uh, the uh, Nuka World DLC. There's a bunch of bushes in an area. I hit the ground and I started like I started going on geometry weird. I thought it was like stomping or something. I'm like, am I about like, to what? get <laughs> the 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 worry of am I about to get fucked? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I... Well, great. Thanks, dog meat. Keep hitting the the. All right, let me. Can I just fast travel? Okay, I can. I thought I was too close to the bloat flies to fast travel. Look at that fucking vagina mouth. Damn, son. Let's fucking face it. He is. He literally has pussy lips. Yeah. Give him a smooch. By someone out there who has a very specific fetish for... Blow flight or something. <laughs> like, he's just like, oh yeah, I wanna mack it. Slam its face all over my face. Like, oh. What's the I've never been down here. Why are they never been down to Fallon's basement. You know what? We're gonna go on an adventure. I've never been in Fallon's basement for my two, almost three playthroughs of the game. Uh, hello. Have you been here before? Nope. First time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Mode. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Oh, this is a clothing shop. Right there. You're wearing Piper's same clothes. I'm not a thief. And I'm not loving your tone. Just giving a warning. As long as you pay with good caps, we won't have any problems. Now that we understand each other, Welcome to Fallon. Just save that fragmentation mine for you. Just toss it in her face. I've got a few Seriously? minutes to browse. I think I will take one second to barter because I might actually have stuff I can sell. Let me see. Let's see if there's any weapons here I don't need. Um, I have two of these. I'll sell one. Uh, oh, wait. I'll sell both of them. Because this game doesn't have the, uh, F shank. Oh, yeah. I named it Shank. That's right. My beautiful sequins rose. Hmm. Let's see if there's any shit here I can sell. I actually really need a lot of this stuff. Keep his cybernetic stuff. Because maybe at some point I can like shove that into like my body. Just saying. <laughs> no upgrade mod. Okay. That's a free money. Oh. Whoops. What's up here? I'm no thief, but man, I like exploring. Oh, all that's gonna do is tell me about the railroad, which I'm not doing the railroad ending. Because so the one... which ending are you doing? I don't know which ending. The one ending I haven't got. Because technically oh. I've gotten the Minutemen ending. 
technically I've gotten the Brotherhood ending. I tried to go for the Railroad ending, but that's a little tedious. So if you didn't know, to do the Railroad ending, there's a specific side quest where an NPC can just literally only eat you can shit. fuck yourself. Yeah, and the game won't let you know until she just doesn't ever show up at yeah. fucking the railroad place. And it's like, fuck. Look at, look at this guy. So thirsty. Look, look at his Doctor says thick I can't drink legs and her little scrawny arms. Need a new Coca-Cola. You then! I don't want to give him shit. Why would I give him a Nuka Cola? He doesn't deserve the nice taste of cola on his lips. If anything, he deserves to be beaten. Hey, friend, fisticuffs. <laughs> I'll beat you like your mama should. I'm just asking for your opinion. Could be a great quote. He's my client. Oops. Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well. Fuck your. You're back. Let's go through and demolish everything. Not with your son. You're back. What happened? Your son. What happened? Damn. You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. Goddamn fucking tiny ass wrong. now. He was working with the. Jesus Christ. He. He gave them Sean. Big nose and a tiny mouth. Oh boy. I'm nice sorry, good friend. Kiss. Truly. Give me a. That mulch. makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. Sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. Oh, yeah, and here's where I have to go to fucking. But there's one person who. Good neighbor and do all that shit. The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. Man like that would have had access, in and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? Guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? Well, you see, I didn't even... I I didn't even give him given the benefit of the fucking doubt. He's dead, Nick. Nick. So, a couple, I, a I couple gr bitch. A couple grenades in a mine made sure of all that. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. <laughs> you know. Nick was like, hey, um, that wasn't very cool of you to just kind of shoot his brains out. Look, there's a place in good name. Fuck you, Nick. Den. I'm not here to impress you this time. You're not the right synth for me. The day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing. It'll be Dr. Amari, just like the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is gonna work. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it. Oh, Nick's right. Nick's right. What do we have? We got no need a good old nothing. hunk of brain. That old Merc's brain just might have all the... That's why I use grenades. Hopefully there's enough brain everywhere. <laughs> Actually... Hopefully I scraped up enough. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Get the spatula. Huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. You know what's weird? I've never taken... Piper. Yeah. I mean, could take Piper. Or you're going for your. I don't know, because I already have dog meat on me. Uh, let's I'll all take it out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Well, of course, dog meat's going to don't Sanctuary. Worry. That's where everyone goes to. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few. 
few more steps. And by the way, Jesus Christ, the experience. It's like, yes. 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 All right, Piper. You're only coming along for now. I'll, I'll, I, I'm dealing with your shit for now, lady. Just for now. Don't give me that look. You're on my Don't you give me that look either. I'll beat the both of you back into the 1920s. <laughs> Wait for all these beautiful loading screens. All right. Sure, Piper, whatever you say. This is the local pro prostitution ring. As you can clearly see, this is where the prostitute stands. They present them. Piper, why don't you show how it's done? Come on. Nick, help me out here, buddy. No? Okay, alright, well. Lost cause. Alright, we're gonna go ahead of you, Nick. You're not taking Nick with me. He has to go there anyways. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Free your mind. Well then. Well then. Yeah, what the hell? Are these what's in the memory den? I don't remember. Yeah, those, those are what's in the memory den. Because I know in uh, Fallout uh, 3, you have to go through a simulation and shit like that, and they hook you up to a fucking thing. Yeah. Dog meat. See you later, dog meat. All right, I need to check the sim map. All right, we're not going that far. That's my current one. That'll have to do. Yeah, let's go to another combat room. All right, Piper. You and me now. I've abandoned dog meat and given up all hope. This won't go too bad, though. I mean, it's not like there's death claws in the city. Ha, 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 ha. You just turn a corner, there's like a couple death claws, like having tea or something. I Some turn a corner shit. and there's a death claw just like kind of scratching his ass. It's like, looks at you. Hello, friend. Good thing we're not in the city, we're in the suburbs. The most civil of death claw. Hmm. Death claw just like helped you across the road. Oh, so you would like some help? Fucking mannequins. Fucking things. Oh, that scared the shit Star out of you? Startle the shit out of you. Raiders. I'm going. I forgot there's raiders. Yeah. By chance, forgot there's raiders. Okay, the bliss is Swan's Pond. I'm okay as long as I don't get stupid and try to like shoot it. I'll take those. Piper. Don't shoot the pond. Piper, whatever you do, do not piss it off. <laughs> whatever you do, don't get a sudden good idea in this side. Don't get a sudden murder boner. I mean, to be fair, Piper wouldn't be in the... She, would, she wouldn't be in an unknown boat, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh. I found this one. I found Park Street Station yet? Yeah, apparently I have. I have found this one. Okay. But you guess what? I'm already here, so. Hmm. Oh, look at all the ghouls. Ghouls! Don't turn the shit on. They're only in there. Ah! Pardon me. 
Oh! Piper, what the fuck? <laughs> Piper can fucking teleport! To be fair, yeah. What was that? Behind you, Piper! Piper! Sorry. Over the wall! Uh -huh. That bitch was dodgy. That was cute. He was, <laughs> he was just, he's gonna whoop my butt. I think Piper just, like, whipped it. Or did you? <laughs> Don't worry, the reds I'm getting is totally worth it. Where's this one go? Okay, yeah, there's that. I'm literally waiting just to get my like, buddy. Are you doing? Didn't even notice you there. I literally just look and there's this big mass of shit. And it's like, what is that? Oh, it's, it's a, a super, super mutant. What the hell? Oh. Oh. Come on, fight one. I want to take one on, see if I can. God, dude, good neighbor's in the worst place because they're like next to the shitty super mutants and shit. Yeah, they are. Huh. All right, put my gun away. All right, time to go to the good good neighbor. We're gonna go talk to the mayor, and he's gonna be such a cool guy. Whether or not he is actually cool is subject to interpretation. Ugh. And, uh, well, I guess. Blah, God, I'm stretching. But, like I said in the, um. the Borderlands video, I will actually hey, cut out Where's or completely just paper? skip over the part where we're in the memories and stuff, because insurance. that's. Eh, that's kind of you better back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. That? What was that? Damn, I'm not very good at persuading. Yeah, yep, he's right. Oh, shut up, Piper. Accidents start happening to you. Keep it up, and I'll take Hancock. Bloody accident. Someone steps through the gate. A true knight in shining armor, the Cadillac among men of this town. What do you care? I mean, he one of us. He's got that tight leather butt. But you can't beat a man Go. with no nose. I know what you're thinking. Didn't Harry Potter beat a man with no nose? No, he technically didn't. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Oh. And Nick, just, just excuse me, fellas. Gentlemen. As Nick usually is. Yeah, huh? Breaking my heart over here. I'll be taking my right, brother. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good no, news. No, I like you, Hancock. People. You feel me? Everyone's Should, welcome. Have you done a, ever done a playthrough with Hancock? Yeah. No, I haven't, because I've always tried to be a good guy. Fuck it! The neighborhood. So long as you remember <laughs> who's in charge. So long as you remember who's in charge. Use in Hancock? charge. Too bad about this, right? Gonna miss him next super mutant attack rolls round. Oh, well. What can I do for our newcomer? What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story? Yeah, what's your story, uh, Hancock? Subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left. And oh, so that explains why he's a fucking ghoul. Man, the high was mm. so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, what's not to love about him? I don't think it sucks about being a ghoul when your brain eventually fucking goes away. Yeah. You're a hell of a risk taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Anyway, did you need something else? I'm trying to get him to come with me. Looking I think you have to do that a little later on. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. I think you have to do a couple things for him there. Yeah. Scout out. I'll go ahead and I'll take his thing right now. Oh, Piper liked that though. She likes it when you'll work for anyone. Aren't you an asshole? No, you're not an asshole. I like you. This fucking abomination. Everything here is guaranteed to injure. I feel like this robot's trying to seduce me. 
Except I've always felt like this robot is trying to kill. It's practically got big metal boobies. Technically. I've got a few minutes to browse. A gun for every occasion. I mean, it's getting there. Um, yeah, you've got some pretty good stuff. I don't think I need to buy any of it yet. Bit of a serious battle. Temporary soul stunner and come. Was, uh, duh. Just got some okay stuff. I actually have the party starter. It's fifty percent more damage against humans. That's funny. Um. Alrighty, Kaleo. I don't know what that name stands for, but I don't know what its name stands for. The Kaleo or whatever. Oh yeah, let's listen to Mayor Hancock's wonderful speech. Is everyone? Is there no everyone one here? No, no one. Wow, what are they assholes? You guys will never become pillars of the community if you guys don't accept that Mayor Hancock here may or may not be our overlord and savior. <laughs> I one might even say he is a Jesus Christ among us humans. Oh my god, you <laughs> Everybody, we must kneel. Kneel to our new Christ, our new savior. Just imagine he's looking at you like what the fuck is this kid doing? The third rail sounds like a weird sex position. Okay, Hancock's just gonna stand up there. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. Why am I going this way, you ask? I don't know. Apparently, I want to look at that drifter. Neighborhood watch is everywhere. I'm not liking this. I feel like I'm about to get shut down. I'm about to get shanked. Heard you were staring at Mayor Hancock's Hancock. <laughs> What's it to you? Ding! What about my Hancock? You look nice, you look good, you look okay. Kind of in the shape of a curly cue. Well, well, it's not Mr. Bell. Lady, I'm gonna ask you to calm the hell down with your weird, creepy sex dungeon. What happens if I go in here? Am I getting in trouble? Is this stealing? This yes. is stealing. It Everything is stealing. stealing. I'm a good boy, though. I just wanna see what's in the room. I'm not actually gonna steal from you. Let me in. Let me in your sex pods. Fuck. Your sex pods. Shit. Hey, look, it's the silver shroud. God, the I want to put Nick in that shroud. game with a Tommy gun. I don't think you can. Which if makes I me fucking could, I would. You're not, Irma. Doesn't fucking matter. You've got gangster guns in here. And I tell. Whoa, handcuffs. Jesus. And Kick it! Who are you? Can I talk to you? Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Yeah, I don't blame this guy. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. But, but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. This guy's right. We need real superheroes. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Last broadcast was hundred of years ago. I was back to the past. Something the past. Time. Samurai Jack. Oh man, that's amazing! Jesus You're Christ. just like Mr. Abominable from episode eighty-three. Oh man, that's amazing. Try to remember speaking. Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg. Yeah. Off the God, this is like comic book nerds talking about comic days, book nerds must take some getting used Like when I start talking about Spider-Man's radioactive jizz giving Mary Jane fucking it's a cancer. Or when they um, they made a deal with the devil and killed their unborn daughter and all this other but over shit. Here, we gotta wait hey, Nick and, I got a question for you. and Piper both like that. Real? I want to call her Pepper for some reason. Gleaming silver submachine gun. Probably because she has black hair. Yeah. Like so black pepper. Then again, if she was black pepper, she'd probably be a black woman who's really sassy. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I've heard crazier plans to do it. I just have see. I can't. I can't be a bad guy. I have to be a good guy. I have to. Even better than the one in the show. Have to be good to work. I still need the most important piece. Jesus Christ. The genuine silver shroud costume herself. And they actually got one oh, this is the guy who wants you to go get the Silver Shroud costume. Show. Yeah. 
I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? I might do this. For like real? Camera or something, Before or the bombs maybe fell, a side thing. they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find huh, Get it? Hubris Comics? Hubris? I s if I could turn to you in this game in real life, I would <laughs> fucking shoot you. So what's over here? I've never actually, uh, went through. Oh, this is nothing. This is just the broken. Nope, here it is. Sweetie. The bucket. Look, it's Homestuck. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even Good. tell me it was dying. Good. Didn't even tell me. The, the Homestuck You're... is so strong that that it that oh, that it, it made the controller die. Where is it? No, Homestuck, you're coming with me. We're going to fill you up with cum and sell you to the Technically, spirit animal. Technically, that's not a bucket. That's a cauldron. It's All a bucket. Right. If it was a cauldron, there'd be a witch brewing in it. Hey, oh, wait. guess what? Here she is. It's a pot, to be honest. Here you go, lady. It's I a think you could. Pot. I think you could use the homestuck. You can a put those more. on them. Here, lady. You could use <laughs> homestuck a little bit more than I could. Now that bucket. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> let's face it. Let's, I just I just put it. a shit bucket around her fucking face. You know what? I'm never wrong. I take it this isn't a social call. Take it this is a social call. I need you to look at Kellogg's fucking man named broken ass piece of a brain. But he's dead. Just a slimy pink thing covered in brain matter. Well, it also has pulled off the impossible before. Yeah, but the chip's covered in brain. Besides the fact that you're asking me to die, this guy's porn history in it still. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it Do you have it with you? No, I kind of left it in a shit bucket and put it over your employer's head. She might be killed up now. Fuck! I'm pulling on the controller. No, nope, that light quick save. There we go. What I could find. Excellent. Felt the need to quick save. Fuck! You need a different wire. I would need a longer wire, but the only longer wire is stuck in the PlayStation, and you won't let me have it. I said you could have it. No. Wait. No, you. I'll oh, see. Like I said, it's some weird bit of metal covered in brain goo. Circuits look and goo. familiar. Not this game's just one big Homestuck reference. There's buckets everywhere. Everyone wants to fuck. Civil War. You know what? Let's get to the good part, Doc. We plugged the brain implant into Mr. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and listen to her whole conversation about it. Let's just uh, speed this up a little bit. Plenty of room in my head anyway. Thanks, Nick. You're the only synth we could get to do it. Because otherwise, I'd have to go kill another one. All right. Or I can get Dima. Actually, I don't know if Dima would be that willing to Uh, leave. I don't think Dima will leave. Like an old if I leave Arcadia, the crazy townspeople might kill us. Yeah, and? <laughs> you say that as a bad thing? <laughs> you make a very persuasive argument, new friend. I put the controller down. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Can I steal this? Yes, I can. It's got drugs. I need you to keep talking to me. I'm just stealing her shit. I need it more than you do, lady. Oh, hey, Piper. Piper just stares at you. Get it? Because she's piping hot? Oh! I actually don't think Piper's that attractive. I actually think she kind of looks like one of the male NPCs, like McCready or whatever, who's actually in this town. I can go find him for comparison. See, look at that. Look at that face. That is the casting couch. You're about to get blown away. <laughs> Let's put that away. Okay, I have to talk to you. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong. But what if we use two? Piper, get in the chair. But Piper, if we use get two, the chair. we load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory. Into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive, Run your cognitive functions, functions in parallel. In parallel. Me and Nick have to be on the same level. This has got to be weird. This is like Dragon Ball fusion levels of like fucking bullshit where it's like oh if you're gonna fuse with someone they have to be god damn it <laughs> fuck 
Good. Just sit down over. Where it's like in Dragon Ball Z, they're like, uh, if you want to fuse with someone, they have to be of a, uh, like an equivalent power level. Mm -hmm. Which means even though Goku has fucking his fucking fucking dumbass ultra instinct bullshit, like him and Vegeta, because they can make Vegeta, are still technically the same power level or strength or whatever the fuck yeah. you want to call it. You want well, and there's power Piper. levels are bullshit anyway. She's coming over here to inspect me. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the Don't give me that fucking look, Piper. She's looking at me like I got my dick out, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna break in that too, and I'm gonna fuck you." They might not be fucking quit it. I can't even look at her to give I'm her gonna a snap look. into that like a slim gym. And then a guy named Jim who was very slim has to come downstairs. Did you guys say you needed me? I'm sorry. Did you need me? Shit. Sorry, Doctor Amari. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> this big ass bright white light. Jesus Christ, it'll hurt your eyes if you stare at it. Oh, good. good, the simulation appears to be working. Um, memories of white fragments. Um, I don't think I can speed run the memory memories. thing. I think I'm actually subjected to being here a certain amount of time. And I don't know, I don't think I can just steamroll through this in like 10 minutes. There. I'll try. This is the earliest I run? memory I can find. No, I can't, I can't run. Stuck like walking through here, which sucks because I think it's like. All right, can I? Oh, I think I can. Alrighty, if I can speed run through this, I will. But we'll have to see if it lets me. Yeah, so far it looks like it's letting me. So if I can just speed run through this, I guess we won't skip this part because, hooray! Looking. Let's see here. I'll connect you through all the, the next intact memory. I think the I think the all I think the one where you're just kind of learn about the teleporting. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Don't worry, Dr. Amari. It's, we're not speedrunning memories. 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 Alrighty, and this is... Is this, is this Kellogg? Yeah. It's him. That, I forgot when that we was. We seem to be getting closer. Try this next like one. He's gonna like. I remember those before or after he wanted to bang the woman, get gets her full baby goo. Mr. Kellogg. Ah. I'm glad you decided. To look at this strapping. This looks like some sort of Five Nights at Freddy's fucking abomination. Myself, you really existed. Like holy hell. We do. As getting warmer, one of these has got to tell us something. We are running. This. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Oh, hey, Connecting you. it's it, th this is familiar. No one in this pod. Of all computers. Oh, there was someone. My else. wife. There's me. Is that me? Yep, that's me. All right. Down the hall near the end. Hello. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. They did not handle skin color very well. I forgot I made her African American. You did. You finally get. Eventually, we'll find out what Sean looks like. She's like holding the baby and stuff. I found another. Email. Yeah, eventually we'll get to see what my like half black kid looks like. Cause like I said, I've never actually picked a different color for Please. my wife. Yeah, I've never decided to make her not white. Your son. This appears to be a very. Oh, there he is. Memory. So. Can good I, news, can I, I think. Can I crouch? Can I look at my son? Uh, I want to, I want to see his face. I want to see if it carried over my dumb-looking face features to him. I mean, he looks. His skin looks half black to me, so that looks like like that's something that actually got factored in, which is a neat detail. I like I like that. I like how they're not just like, oh, he he'll he'll be like, one way or the other. It's like no, it's like we're actually gonna put some detail and some thought into it. Exposure to civilians is a priority. And here's this dude. So here's these guys. I'm pretty sure, I think he, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he's the companion you get when you join the Institute. Probably. As in, he's gone rogue. Names, Dr. Brian Virgil. There uh, you go. His face looks pretty normal. Damn. But he is half black. It's weird, though, because I didn't really, like, choose, like, drastically different. I chose two fairly similar hairstyles. It's just mine's done up in, like, the shitty dumbass bun. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. 
Yeah, but then that's too stereotypical. And then it's kind of racist. But not really. Not really. What are the top? I think that's the weirdest thing I've ever described to someone is I'm like, you ever notice how, like, a lot of, like, black people have, like, that weird similar, like, like, their hair is, like, incredibly similar. Your only mission is to look and, like, and eliminate Virgil. And it's like, like, black people have this weird, like, like, curliness to their hair and it's, like, very tight curls. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. And I'm like, huh. I'm like, that must be one of those just, like, over the years kind of things because of, like, you know, how, like, people having babies and, like, how, like, genes k travel across, like, from person to person. X688. His face looks pretty normal. With Sean. Bye, Mr. I hope I see you again soon. Oh, he has really red lips, though. I don't know who he gets that from. Because I don't remember if it's because of my guy's lip color. Because I don't remember giving his mom, like... Like, I thought I gave her like pale lips, so who knows? It might just also be like a, uh, like one of the things where it's like when they do like the skin color, like certain things color weird. Like how my wife in that tube was like literally just like the darkest person in the world. Can I go? Can I leave? Oh. Alrighty, well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah. We speed ran those memories, and we were out in about five minutes. Nice. And now, we can eventually try looking for the sun, and Piper can stop giving me the sexy eyes. Slow movements, you say? Slow movements? Ah! Uh, wait, where's Nick at? Where is my... My friend, Nick and Piper both like Amari. Hey there, Doctor Amari. How are you feeling? Okay. I feel pretty fine. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good, but I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you? <laughs> Piper just comes running in. Heard you was talking shit. We got what we needed. Yeah, this is where I learned about the fucking teleportation shit. Get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. Uh, I don't know what to do beyond this, because eventually I'm going to have to work. Where do we go next? build... Oh, god damn it. Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. So I guess I have to go to the, uh... Scientists could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? Where do you have to go to? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Uh, this is actually the part I was really dreading on getting to. I hate the glowing sea. Uh, so this is the part where I'm like, okay, I'm probably gonna have to go. Be prepared. You'll need some like, way to combat the radiation there. Cause like I was dreading getting up to this part because I was like, um, cause like okay, I'm like when it comes to doing like this whole part, I'm like, I thought about going and getting uh, Paladin Dan's as my buddy to help me get through this because he has power armor. Uh, and then all this other shit. For you and I'm sitting here and I'm like, fuck. That's Piper sexually wants him. Piper, calm the fuck down. And then she sits. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at her sit pose. Damn. Quit it. Stop. Them sexy ads, though. She wants the D a little too intensively. She wants the D. I'm very, very... <gasps> she took her bucket off. How dare you! Ma'am, I find this offensive. New clients right now, sweetheart. You whore! How dare you remove the shit bucket? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Nick, are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. All right, yeah, talk to Nick, because that's part of the fucking place.
Loading screens, yay. Jesus Christ, loading is taking forever. Actually, it looks like it stopped. Oh no. Live, on camera, loading has stopped. <sighs> I guess we'll wait. I'll give it a, I'll give it like a good couple seconds. I'll give it a couple seconds. First time I've ever had this issue of it just kind of stopping loading. Don't know if that means I'm, I'm about to pop out the door or the game just kind of is like fucking about to explode, burn down. So you guys get to enjoy the screen for another little bit. Uh, if it doesn't go away soon, I'll just, we'll just stop the recording and then we'll just continue from after the load screen, I guess. Yeah. In the next part or video or whatever. No, that, no, I thought it moved. No. No, that's actually very concerning. Has Fallout 4 just died on us? Is this why Todd Howard is pushing for Skyrim? Because they optimize Skyrim to like, the, the peak of perfection? I like Skyrim and everything, don't get me wrong, but we've got a little too much Skyrim going on. I honestly think, you know... Maybe. I think it's a good change that they're doing the, uh... Well, they're doing Fallout 76, and they're planning on doing yeah. another Elder Scrolls here and playing, like, another year or so, and it's like, man, I hope that other Elder Scrolls is, like... I was like, oh, maybe it's an Oblivion remake. I'm like, eh, I kind of hope it's not an Oblivion remake. Alrighty. So, apparently nothing's happening. Uh, we will see you guys in the next one, and hopefully this isn't going to be, like, a recurring issue. This isn't going to be...